Corey. It is day 11. <laughs> I remembered. I remembered. I'm so glad that you joined us for Corotication. Day 11. 11. Uh, let's see. Uh, Corey. This was not planned. It wasn't, but I like it. Me too. Anyone else have their next gen ball shirt on? Mm. First, you know what? Snap a pic. Oh, let us know. We want to Show see us. It. Cool. All right, today, Andrew, let's just get started. Okay. Um, I want to know what is something that you've been learning recently? Hmm. Anything at all? Yes. Okay. Actually, you know how yesterday or the day before, I don't remember when it was that we talked about it, but mm -hmm. just how important it is to pray for each other right now, especially right. in the time this virus thing going on. Um, well, in Matthew, I think it's Matthew 6, 34, this will be perfect for our game later, by the way. Carry on. I think. <laughs> I think. That it, um, it's just, you know, Jesus telling us not to worry. Not to worry oh. about tomorrow because today has enough troubles uh, on its own. And like right now in what we're going through, mm. that couldn't be more real. I mean, it's just like yesterday was different than today. I mean, the things that we're learning for real is different. And so, I mean, just every day is changing. And, um, and so I'm really having to... Focus on Jesus, lean into his understanding, not my own, mm. and trust him and not worry. That's cool. I've been reading with my wife through Old Testament stuff. We're in like Joshua and Caleb when they're spying mm. on people and stuff. And one of the things that I've just been thinking about is how crazy it was and like how unknown their journey was, but they could trust God throughout mm. the whole thing. And just looking back through the Bible, you can see God's faithfulness on display time and time again. And so today, like Andrew said, I don't have to worry yeah. because I know God's in control. That's right. It's awesome. All right, so let's jump into our first video today. We have our friend, Miss Ashley oh, Ray. Ashley Ray. I really wanted to talk about forgiveness and how sometimes in the Bible it says to forgive. And sometimes do we want to forgive when people wrong us? No, but do we? Yes. So... Um, Leviticus 19, 17 through 18 says, Do not hate another Israelite in your heart. Correct your neighbor boldly when they do something wrong. Then you will not share their guilt. Do not try to get even. Do not hold anything against any of your people. Instead, love your neighbor as you love yourself. I am the Lord. And I felt in this crazy time that we are in that a lot of us are loving our neighbor. And in this time we really could do more for our neighbor. Whether it's your next door neighbor, whether it's your neighbor down the road, we are all neighbors of each other. So just a little encouragement for today to get out there, support your friends, your family. If you have a next door neighbor that needs dinner, of course, like dinner or lunch first, first boys, ask your parents. Um, <laughs> but um, let's do something nice for the community. Let's clean up our yards a little bit. It's such a beautiful day and we could do so much in our community. Take care of those chores and that homework first. That's the most important thing, but also serving your community greatly. What do you call a big who does karate? Um, what? Um, Pork chop. <laughs> What's up guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a very simple and easy paper football. You may know how to do this, but I'm gonna go through it and show you guys the steps, okay? So first you take the corner and you fold it all the way down until it is flush with one end of the paper. It should look something like this. And then you do the same on the other side, flush all the way. This should lead to a nice X in the middle of your paper. Then you flip your paper over, fold that in half right on the middle of the X flip it over again and press the middle. Then you get to fold the sides in together and it should look something like this. Next, you fold up each flap to make a diamond shape in the middle. Now, this is where you have to be careful. You have to fold in the middle and make sure you get the whole thing in there. All right, next you fold it in half and then you pull out the wings. And last but not least, you have to add the stabilizers to each individual wing so that you Wait, have... Sam? Sam? Huh? This, 
This looks like an airplane. I thought you were, I thought you were making a paper football. That's what. Uh, well, yeah. we'll just fold it this way. Fold it this way. Once you have it like this, you just fold triangles in it all the way down to the end. So it's nice and neat. And what do you know? Paper football. Easy as pie. Uh, okay. Why are fish so smart? Why? Because because they live in school. <laughs> Alright, Andrew, it's time to play the game that I teased at the beginning. This game is called Is It? Really in the Bible? And I'm going to read some of these. Should I even play? And you're going to have to guess if it's really in the Bible. Okay. You can play along at home. Remember, your goal is to destroy Andrew. So just try to get one more oh. point than him. It should be awesome. Are you ready to play? I'm ready. Okay. Um, I'm not the best reader. I will do. I'll do as good as I can. Okay. Um, this is a quote. It says, that world is ending as, as ended as if it had never been. Let the race of Adam and Eve take warning. Is that really in the Bible? It talks about Adam and Eve, but I don't recall ever hearing that. I'm going to say I'm gonna say no. He says no, and your vote is? I'm going to say no. It's C.S. Lewis. You got the first one right. Hey. Andrew has never done this before. That's it. I'm, I'm stopping there. Oh, no, no. There's more questions. Oh, it, this one it. is a quote. I am the brother of jackals and the companion of ostriches. Does it mention ostriches in the Bible? That's the right order, right? I think so. Okay, because sometimes reading I can control jackals control. and the companion of ostriches. Is it really in the Bible? I don't think that's in the Bible. I'm going to go no. He's going no. What are you doing? I don't think. Oh, you gotta vote with your thumb. Oh, no. He says no. Joe, oh. 30, 29. It okay. is. Andrew's got one right so far. One for one. Nope, one for two. One for two. That's right. Every one. table is covered with vomit. Every table is covered with vomit. <laughs> is that really in the Bible? No. No. That's not in the Bible. And your vote is. Not in the Bible. <laughs> Isaiah wow. 28, verse 8. What's he talking about there? I'm like, Vomit. I'm You're gonna lost. have to. I'll save this one. Yeah, I'll put it over here yeah, somewhere. Yeah, bookmark that. You one. gotta check out. Yeah. <laughs> I like this one. Uh, Canada is the best country in the world. Is that really in the Bible? I don't think that's in the Bible. I'm pretty confident that that's not in the Bible. He's going with no. No. If it's not in the Bible, who do you think said Canada is the best country in the world? Probably a Canadian. Maybe I'm gonna go singer like Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber is correct. Yes. Oh my goodness, you got two right. Two, two for, for two, yeah. Two for two. No. Two and two. Two out of four. Two out of yeah. four. Yeah. So 50-50. Yeah. I bet some of them are beating you, but not. Oh, you might beat some of them. I'm not mad. It's okay. Next one. I am not out of my mind. Most excellent. Festus. I almost said a different word. But I am speaking true and rational words. Is that really in the Bible? That's in the Bible. That's an in the Bible. I want to say I think I know where it's at, but I'm not going to do that. Maybe Acts 26, verse 25? I was, I was right. I just read that. <laughs> All right. I just read that in my D group. It's got three. We found your game. Maybe. It's not over yet. Coasting along it with difficulty. Coasting along. We came to a place called Fair Havens. That's not the Bible. He's going no. No. What are you doing? Not in the Bible. Acts 27 8! Yes! <laughs> sounds like a neighborhood down I'll the street. I'll save this one for you too. <laughs> Apparently, just read that one. That was a chapter later. I didn't get that one, right? <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. It, it goes to prove that we could always learn yeah. it again and again each time we read through it. All right, here we go. For there to be betrayal, there would have to have been trust first. No. Hmm. No. I'm going to say that's from a movie. That just sounds like a movie. It's going no, and your vote is... Maybe like Star Wars or something? Let's see. Okay. I've the Hunger Games. It's from a movie. He did get that right. I'm impressed. You're, how many now? 
I don't even know. Math is hard. It is. Quote, then two she-bears came out of the woods and tore 42 of the boys to hey, pieces. I know this one. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. <laughs> Second Kings 2, 24. It's about a bald man. It's a good story. Yeah. You should read it. It's about me. <laughs> All right. Um, this is the continuation of a quote. It says, okay. After all we've been through together, you still don't trust me? Not in the Bible. Not in the Bible. In your vote? This is a not in the Bible. The correct answer is... Tangled. <laughs> That's funny. All right, Andrew, just a couple left. I've done really well. You're doing really good. Someone is keeping score, I'm sure. And I'm also sure someone is beating. Quote, I fear dying here while my city burns and there's no one there to save it. I fear dying here while my city burns and there's no one there to save it. That is not in the Bible. It's going no. No. Thumbs down. Thumbs down in your vote? Not in the Bible. The correct answer is... Is this the last one? Nope. Bruce oh, Wade, yeah. the Dark Knight Rises. Last one, Andrew. Okay. All right. Make yourselves bald and cut off your hair. This is in the Bible. This is in the Bible. Yeah. And you're following it, except for the beard. I guess it's time to shave. Yeah. Old Testament. It's oh, Old okay. Testament. Let's see. He's going with Old Testament. It's in the Bible. Your vote in the Bible? Is it really in the Bible? It's in the Bible, it's in the Bible, it's in the Bible. Yes. Micah 1, 16. Man, I'm going to save this one. I wanted to I want to know what's going on there. All right, so thank you for playing today's that game. Is it really in the Bible? Andrew may have finally beat somebody. Let us know and send us an email or do whatever you need to do to let us know. Except for showing up unannounced at our homes with a virus. That's true. Yes, definitely don't do that. For now, though, we have a special guest that wants to wrap up our video, so let's turn things over to them. See you later. Hey, So Hills kids, it's Leslie and Harper here. Hey. We just want you to know that we've been thinking about you and praying for you, and we really miss seeing you guys, especially my fifth grade girls. I'm missing you. But uh, before we finish today, I just want to pray with you guys, so if you could Mommy. pray with me. Mm -hmm. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for today. We thank you for the blessings in our lives. Lord, we just ask that you be with us through this time, Lord, that through this uncertainty, that that you are with us and you are with our families um, and all the children, Lord, and you just bring us all safely back together soon. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you guys. Why did the pony get sent to his room? Why? Because he couldn't stop horsing around. <laughs>